Okay, all the gel I had applied in the last video has dried and uh, I will show you what it looks like right now. I hope you can remember what it was looking like and uh, this is whoops you see this is seemingly white but actually it's all the way translucent of course there are some air bubbles trapped in that but that looks very very nicely like water it does reflect the paint underneath and the only thing that it needs now is white caps and this I will be adding as well along the hull you can see there's in some areas there's a lot of white left in other areas there's less white left and now I will be building up on the process if you go for repeated treatments then you will get a more consistent and a more a deeper um, feel of water as you build up your acrylic gel in layers of course in the area of the stern there needs to be a lot more white where the water is churned up you can see in some areas the gel didn't dry so nicely so I will have to fill up uh, that doesn't look so nice over here but this is correctable just more acrylic gel will do the trick when I'm finished with this side with the second installation of the acrylic med medium I will continue with the other side of the hull. Okay, I hope you like what you see. Uh, if any questions, please don't hesitate to ask.
folks, and it's time to look at the final result. The base is now finished. There's nothing I can do to improve it, I guess, but in total from a different dist from a distance it looks quite nice, but to tell you the truth, I am not quite happy with it. There are quite a few things that could have been done better about the seascape. But um, I am not entirely unhappy. I have learned a whole uh, lot of new things when doing this. And I'm quite certain I will be going very differently about the waves next time. These are way too pronounced. These are way too big. Um, and that's that's basically my biggest problem about it. Now, from a di distance, it looks very nice, but if you go closer, these waves are too big, and the bow is not entirely inside the bow wave. But I don't want to be overcritical because there, it has a lot of good aspects that will be finding its way into the next build. Okay, this was the final installation for the Seascape and I will be continuing with the finishing moves on the Admiral Graf Spee, which will be rigging and placing the crew. Oh, from here it looks quite nice, doesn't it? Okay, for the next installation, see you in a bit. Bye-bye.